Can you say in the menu for tonight yes. dinner? Perfect. Thank no you problem. so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Good morning, guys. <laughs> it is bright and early. It's literally half eight in the morning. I guess by now you know that we're in the Dolomites. We had breakfast and we're currently driving to Lake Bias. I don't know how you pronounce it. We should have looked that up to go do some fun activities. I've had a coffee, so I'm like all over the gaff. But yeah, we got here last night. We had a bit of a faff on the journey when we got to Venice Airport. We couldn't find the um, car rental place. There was no signs. There was no sign. There were signs, <laughs> but they were directing everybody to the wrong place. And there were some other girls that are having the same issues as us. So it was just a bit of a faff. It took us like an hour and a half. We asked about four different members of staff and nobody knew where it was. They kept telling us different places. Turns out it was like right after the arrivals area but because we looked straight at the signs we yeah we went to the wrong place eventually we managed to get the the car sorted eventually but we kind of got an upgrade i think our car wasn't ready so they were like yeah we're gonna give you <laughs> the guy said that big black boy over there <laughs> referring to the car so yeah we we had like a three hour drive it was so beautiful though so picturesque like this place is insane as you guys will see got to the hotel extremely knackered we had an hour and a half left until dinner stopped so we just quickly like showered sat down for dinner and it was like a michelin star like five course meal it was so good so I'm really looking forward to that tonight and I think it's a different menu every night. Well, the hotel we're staying in is incredible. There's a rooftop pool, which is crazy. Today we are going to Lake Bay, Bay, Bayes, Bayes, Bayes. I need to look up the pronunciation. I can't wait to get there. I can't wait to see more of this scenery. It's just so nice to be away. These roads are tight, boys. These roads are tight. These roads are real tight <laughs> and I'm, I'm in my Ford, what is it? A Krug? Cougar, Ford Cougar. Oh, is it a Cougar? Yeah. Because I'm a cougar. I've heard of that before. <laughs> I'm in my Ford Bronco. It's actually such a nice car. It's such a nice yeah. car to drive. I've got my Skims bodysuit on today. I'm so glad I brought this. It's like the most comfortable thing ever. If you guys haven't watched my Skims haul, go check it out because everybody needs a bit of Skims in their life. Also, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, there's little cable cars. So cute. Right, I'm going to go because I'm that coffee is just. We also stole some fruit and a bowl and a fork for the road. We didn't actually steal it, the guy said we could take it. Because I get hungry all the time and then I get hangry, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is nuts! There's no way that's real. Look where we are. I should be a bit more careful with my camera, really, the way I'm just holding it off the edge of the boat. This is unbelievable. The water is probably the bluest water I've ever seen, and I've been to some places. I can't get over this place. It doesn't look real. It looks like a painting or like a projection. It doesn't look like tangible, like you can touch it, but we're here and we're in the water, and it's like, I'm just, I'm just blown away. <laughs> else has gone back in that came in at the same time as us. We've got a stuff. How are you feeling? Are you happy? I'm in my element. Wasn't that the most amazing? Amazing. Oh. We're leaving now, yeah, but that was too. the best experience. Guys, there's a dog on a boat. We've just stopped at the little shop by the lake. Our view is insane to get a little snack because we are starving. If you're thinking of coming here and you're vegan, you're going to be in fries. They've only got like sausage, pizza or fries. So yeah, if you are vegan, get a snack in advance or you'll be just eating loads of chips. What I will say though is the fries bang. I kind of wish Bronson was with us because they can go on the boat as well. But let's be real here, he'd probably jump out and drown because he's got no danger like instincts whatsoever. Anyway, we're going to enjoy this and then off to the next activity. Yep. All day, this a way, that a way On the trees is the perfect place to shade And that's just how I feel
time for a quick outfit change. We have arrived at the next destination. We're gonna go for a little hike. I'm kind of nervous, but apparently the viewpoint is to die for, like unreal. So I'm excited to get there. Hopefully it won't be longer than an hour. That's what I've been told. I said hopefully. Yeah, so. I've not told you it's <laughs> an hour. I don't know how long it is. We'll keep you updated but on that one. <laughs> no, one's, no one online has said it's a super hard hike. Yeah. And we're not going to the top, we're just going to the viewpoint. Yeah. Oh, okay, daddy. Right, it's my turn to get changed also, so. See you in three, two. I'll link all the outfits down below, by the way. Everything's pretty much new, so, for once. <laughs> We've been blessed with the weather. Why are you exposing me? Oh my God. So it turns out we were on completely the wrong trail. There's a couple of people behind us that were really nice and offered us some help. If we didn't bump into them, we would have been hiking for an hour and 40 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of having a bit of a panic attack on the way up. I couldn't breathe, so I'm relieved. <laughs> but now we've got to find the new spot and apparently it's only half an hour hike. Hopefully it'll be easier than this one. But yeah, got a bit of exercising for the day, didn't we? Yeah, did indeed. <laughs> oh my God. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Something, something's up again. Cannot see because you have the, the mirror. mirror. Right, thank you. Thank you, Betsy. Nice time. Take thank care. You. I think we found the spot. Shot that's already set up. <laughs> I need a piss. Same. I need a wee. Gagging for it. Okay, so basically this clip is way too windy for you guys to be able to hear anything, but I was basically just saying that my boo went back up to the car to get the big camera because I forgot it and I was just taking a minute to like take in the scenery. The clouds around us just felt like we were in a cloud. But really I was just saying how full of gratitude I was to be somewhere like this and to be able to experience something like this. And just how discovering new parts of the world and new cultures and stuff just makes my soul happy. This hike was crazy though. And there was a point where I was walking and it just turned to like big blocks of snow. It, it tested me for sure. It's been a hell of a day. It's like half eight now, so we've got about half an hour until dinner finishes, so we've just rushed to get ready. I'll chat to you a bit more about today, later or tomorrow, because we gotta go. But I just thought I'd check in and say hello, here's my outfit. And I got these earrings from Reclaimed Vintage, that's so cute. But yeah, very simple, very minimal, no foundation makeup, some freckles. Yeah, we're gonna go for dinner. Not sure how much I'll film, because we're just trying to like, enjoy and be present, so. the spa. Hello. For the second time. We went at 6am but it wasn't open yet. <laughs> Good morning guys, coming to you from the car once again. It is the next day. Feeling pretty tired. Yesterday was pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. I was not doing well with the altitude at all. I've got asthma as well, so my lung capacity is shit. I was doing really bad with the um, altitude and it was like, I was getting embarrassed. I was feeling really self-conscious because what was like not really that difficult of a hike felt like I felt like I was sprinting for like half an hour. I was really struggling, um, but we made it in the end. 
and it was so beautiful. It was amazing to see the peaks and stuff. Although it was a little bit cloudy, so we couldn't catch much of it, unfortunately. There was so, like, there was a queue of people trying to, like, get to the viewpoint. Um, so everybody was kind of taking it in turns. But we met the loveliest couple yesterday. Um, they're from New Zealand, but they've been living in London for, like, three years. And, yeah, just the nicest people. We're potentially meeting up with them where we're going now. We haven't got any signal to message them, but they said that they were heading to the same spot that we're going to now. So hopefully we'll see them again today. We said we'd go for drinks last night, but I think by the time we'd all got back, we were all exhausted. So it'll be nice to see them again today because today's our last full day in this area. So we've got three spots today. Right now we're going to a place called Valle de Funes. Valle de Funes? I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm so sorry. But there's like a kind of like a fieldy bit, a church, and like a lookout onto the mountains. It looks insane. So that's where we're headed right now. We should be here. It says we're like literally a minute away. So looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Also, sorry for being weird. I am feeling a little bit travel sick, so. <laughs> hey, Baba. The windy roads. I got you a Fanta. Oh, thank you. Um, that will help actually. I've got a map. Ah. Um, we, know where to, we know where to go now. So cute. I'm just gonna go toilet. Thank you. Wait, why did I say thank you? <laughs> the people here as well, oh my God, are so nice. It's really refreshing. I'm gonna drink some of this Fanta because I need it. These windy roads just torture, I tell ya. Torture, I'm gonna have to drive back because I can't. I just can't, okay. I'm gonna go. We shall see you when we get to the location. She basically said, we're here right now. Yeah. And we need to go back up that way. And then when we get to here, we need to take a right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then have a little sippy old Fanta, busy Fanta. I would do, I don't care. Right to go then. So we're here. Have you got your seatbelts on? <laughs> hey. Tasha's been eating peach in the car and it's all over the place. That sounds so wrong. We bumped into our mates. We're following them to the destination. These Very are the exciting. nicest people we've ever met. Nicest. They're so cool. So safe in it fam. So safe bruv. It does just smell of straight poop though around here. <laughs> hey guys, we've arrived. <laughs> <laughs> we've now got cash again. It doesn't take card, so that's our bad for assuming. Yeah, there's no, there's no way we're getting in here. If you stay here, I'll run into one of these businesses and see if I can like over pay for a drink or something and get some change. Nice. Guys, does anyone else when it's like warm have to be always in the sun and not in the shade? Otherwise they're immediately cold because same. In there, I was freezing. Out here? Great. Chickens. That is a big ass. Yeah. Guys, we've just had an encounter with some aggressive ass cows. <laughs> Legit terrifying. All right, let's. Oh my god, there's. I think they're gonna chase they're us. Following us. No, they're gonna chase. They're gonna Look, chase. that guy is terrified down there. <laughs> nah. Maybe that's why they've got bells to let people know to move the f out of the way. <laughs> why is she running? Why is she running? Bruh, that is terrifying. Did 
you like that dead romantic far away shot? Did you like it? Do you want to talk to the peeps? Hello peeps. Where are we at then? Dunno. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> Sorry I didn't chat to you guys much today. We spent the whole day with Karthik and Mythony, the lovely couple that we met yesterday. So we were just enjoying our time. I'm sure you would have seen some footage of them by now. Oh, that's really dark. But yeah, we've had the best day. Didn't end up doing what we were supposed to do, but it turned out to be so good. Yeah. So now we're on a rush back to the hotel to have dinner and then go to a lake. We were going to go to the lake and then go for dinner, but we would have missed dinner. So food, you guys know me and my food. It's very important. So we're going to go mm. for dinner first and then go back out because the sunset's kind of late. So hopefully we'll catch some beautiful golden hour lake situation and we'll be able to share it with you guys. Guys, we've been driving for maybe like 10 minutes and we found another epic viewpoint. I feel like everywhere that you drive around here, you just want to stop every five minutes. It's so, so beautiful. It's crazy. Now I, I get the hype about mountain holidays. So guys, after this amazing day of just hiking and discovering beautiful places, we just drove back to the hotel, had our last dinner. The hotel staff was so nice. They actually moved us to another table, but we had the most beautiful view for dinner, which was so nice for our last evening there. And then the next morning I was packing up my stuff. Didn't do a great job at vlogging purely because we had to get so much content and we were actually here on a content trip for my boyfriend as well. So yeah, I packed up our stuff. We drove back to Venice airport to drop off the car. And then we had one night in Venice before before flying home. What are you getting? Buying a belt. It's very cool. You're getting it handmade. Yeah. It's so sick. I've never had a nice belt before. I didn't even think I wanted one, but. This place is amazing. The guy's really cool as well. Yeah, he's so nice. I came in to get two holes put in my belt and I asked him how much and he didn't charge me. So now we're gonna. Well, we have to. We're gonna buy two belts on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool. With the light reflections. And just like that, it was time to fly home. I had the best time, and I cannot wait to take you on our next adventure. Stay tuned. <laughs> 